Wool pressing is another task that may be undertaken by wool handlers in some sheds. Always get someone to show you how to operate the press if you are unfamiliar with types of wool presses. One of the first tasks is putting a pack correctly into the press. The pack should be secured so that the corners of the pack are level with the corners at the top of the press. This will ensure that an even square bale of the correct length is achieved. Once the pack is secured, the sides and back of the press are closed. Place the press approximately one and a half meters from the bins when pressing to allow room for safe lifting and turning. Keep your back straight and bend your knees when lifting armfuls of wool. Hands and arms are to be kept free when the press is operating. This press has a safety door to overcome risk of injury. The minimum weight of bales is 110 kilograms and the maximum should not exceed 204 kilograms. Pressing bales to 190 to 195 kilograms is recommended to save on warehousing costs. When closing off the bale, use four bale fasteners on both the inside and outside flaps. Always face the point of the wool hook away from your other arm when pulling up on the bale fastener. This will avoid risk of injury to your arm should the hook slip from the bale fastener. To remove the bale, the pins must be released before opening the sides or door. Before removing the bale, record the information on the label on the top of the pack and in the wool book. To minimise back injury, use a trolley when moving bales in the wool room. 